In this video tutorial, we will explain the project gas cylinder booking. So it is a desktop application project demo. In this demo, I will show the complete project like how do you do the booking, how customer can do the booking, how the delivery take place and we can generate the reports. So in order to do this project, we should know like exactly what we want to do in this particular project. So we all know as for your curriculum, you need to do the project. When you are doing the project, you need to know why you are selecting this project. That is what very important. When I talk about gas cylinder booking, so you can see that uh, this application is useful for in many places. Even nowadays, even in a very small village, there is a booking center or there is a, de there is a delivery center. Apart from this uh, government agencies, nowadays there are a lot of private agencies are in the uh, market. They are also providing the um, gas, okay, there is a provide gas. So when you have a provide company, so naturally they need to provide a program to the agency. So this is the agency or delivery agency or booking agency or as an agent. So this is the place where the cylinders are collected and then they are delivered to the customer. So what is the procedure? So let us assume this was the one delivery center and for this delivery center this particular project will be useful. Therefore uh, the project will have a wide scope. So we talk about the scope. Scope is what where you can use it actually. So this is not in one place but you can use it in uh, all the agencies. So these agencies are there are many because in a taluk level, district level, in a city, in a very area you can have a, a gas agency throughout the country, throughout the world, it's applicable. So therefore the scope is very wide. So therefore this particular project will have the wide scope. And for whom it is? So this is a gas agency. So this is an agency. So what is the work actually? So here is a agency will have a customer. They are the customer. Customer will register with the agency. So once it's registered, we want to have the customer details. So therefore, this will go to the database. This is the customer database. So the customer then will book the cylinder. So next process is you have a cylinder. So there is your customer want to book the cylinder. So book. Once you book, that has to go to the table again. So this is the booking table. So therefore, that will go to the book table. So once the customer book, that has to be delivered. So therefore, there is a delivery delivery. So therefore it will be delivered then this will go to the corresponding delivery table. So the main aim is so there are cylinders here. Customer whenever they will book the cylinder the company will send the cylinder to the customer and they collect the money. So they collect cash or so online payment. So now we talk about the desktop application. So therefore uh, it work in a, their a local computer. So here is a local computer it will work here. But the same project can be make it as online, so that is possible. We can also make as an Android app. So, based on the requirement, based on the language you choose, based on that you can make this project correspondingly into that particular segment. So, it may be offline, it may be Android, it may be online project. Now, let us look at other points. So project preparation step. So as we discussed already, the first step is you need to select the project title. So what title it is. So you need to select the project. There are many projects we can do. So in that gas cylinder booking is a one. So why gas cylinder booking? Because it has a wide scope. It can be used in many places. So because again privatization is happening. So even small small agencies want the software. So therefore you need to prepare the software suitable to them. It should serve the purpose, then, then naturally they will buy the project. But here, our aim is to complete the basic version of the project. Project synopsis. We need to create a project synopsis. So we have some many project synopsis in our website. Please uh, visit our website and you can able to download from them. Project design. So first you need to design the project. Like what are the things? So when you talk about the design, so we need to know what are the input forms. So what are the basic forms we need to require. So basic forms... The once you know the basic forms, the basic entries, then we have to go to the processing. So basic entries here is like you no know, uh, cylinder price. So cylinder price. So area names, which are the areas. Right then customer detail. So when you talk about the process, so in case of process is a booking, delivery. So based on that, you need to have the reports. So what are the reports we need to generate? So generally we have a booking list. What are the bookings done? So that is a booking list. Then delivery list. So when you have delivery list, day to day basis, you can take the printout and give it to the employee. So therefore you can go and deliver the 
cylinders. Next is the programming. So we need to write the program. So as I discussed already, uh, we can use many languages to write this project. Uh, in this demo, we are using the Visual Basic. I'll show it in Visual Basic. Then project document. So you need to make a document here. So at least around 100 pages. It depends again on your curriculum activities. Uh, according to your uh, requirement. So you need to prepare the document. So in our website, we have many sample documents. Probably you can download from them. So please visit our website, iblix.com. Then please download some sample document. Based on that, then you have to prepare the document for this particular project. Gas cylinder booking system. Uh, this project can be implemented by using any of these languages. Right. So you can write it in VB.NET, you can write it in C sharp.net, we can write it in Java, you can make it as Android. So as we already discussed, we can also make it as a web application. This is useful for a uh, student who are doing any of these courses. So if you are doing any of this course, then naturally you know like you need to complete the project uh, in a particular semester. So therefore, you need a different idea. So therefore, this was one idea that you can use it and you can implement this into make a project. So from this video, what are the things you will gain? So one is the language skills. So here we are using VB.NET. I will show you some basics of VB.NET like how it is done. So what are the forms, where are the tables, so what is server, database server, what is MDA form, login. So a lot of things we'll explain. So therefore you'll get some language skills here. But in order to learn uh, the complete language, you need to go from the uh, tutorial, any language tutorial. You have to learn chapter wise. Then you have to make the project. But here the, specifically we focus on the project. Therefore how the project is done, that will show you that. So therefore you'll understand some basic skills that will be helpful for you. Next is the domain skills. A domain basically we talk about the gas cylinder here we need to understand how this whole concept works so maybe at this moment may not be know like exactly how the whole things works but once you complete this pro pro video at least you should know like how the gas cylinder booking works or how the delivery take place how this whole concept and also you can for more uh, idea you get get into the website or get into the google and search for it and then know what what all the information you want to gather you need to gather by gathering all these things you, you will be enriched with the uh, this system like what oh, is the gas delivery system you need to be enriched with that so therefore you can able to make your project much more better way and then you can present it better way and then people can buy the project next one is the work experience uh, uh, work experience is very very important in order to get the job but as a student, uh, you, uh, you once you complete your course, you don't have an experience. But in order to gain the experience, what you can do is uh, sit at home and use the computer and write the complete project. That will you gain an experience. That is what very very important. So therefore, complete the project your own. You will gain the experience. That definitely will count in your interviews. So therefore, complete the whole project by yourself is definitely a good idea, and it will give you a lot of experience. Therefore, you will gain the experience. Now let's look at the project, uh, what are the forms you are using in this project. So we are on 15 uh, forms here, uh, they are in the alphabetical order. But when I start the project, uh, the first one is a welcome screen. So welcome screen is to show you like what is this project is, what is the title of the project, who is doing this. Oh, and it gives some basic ideas, so therefore this is a welcome screen. After that you have a login form, so login form will give, login form to log into the project, okay. So here only log one employee can log in or admin can log in so that login is used to uh, log into the system uh, where you have user id and password if both are correct it logs in if wrong then it won't able to log into the project next is the mda parent mda parent is the one actually uh, it like the main menu so we have to navigate to the rest of the forms mda parent is important there is a multiple document interface so why we can navigate to the rest of the forms i'll show you in the project database tables uh, here we are using uh, Microsoft SQL Server as a backend. Microsoft SQL Server as a backend. And uh, we created all the tables in a Microsoft SQL Server. And here are the tables. We have around 8 tables here. Uh, one is Agency tab to store agency details. Collection tab to uh, enter the collections. And then Employee table to store the employee details. Equipment. Yeah, some changes. So here is the area name, connection tab, connection type tab, customer details tab. Cylinder booking tab, uh, designation tab, login table, and the qualification table. So these are the tables which are using in this project. So here is the MDA form, and uh, here is a menu. 
So via menu you can able to navigate to the forms. So, so these are the forms and here are the tables. Now let's say uh, this is the employee details. So qualification designations for the employee or customer. So for both is be applicable. So here in this case for the customer actually. So next area names. So when you click area names, so it will open the form area names form. So here is an area names form. And what are the data you enter? So it will transfer to the area table. So here is a form to enter the data. The data whatever you entered, once you save this data, it will come to this particular table. Same way connection type. So here is a connection type form. So this form will be opened. And the data entered here, it will come to the connection tab. Sorry, connection type tab. So here it is. So next customer details, new connection, you need to enter the new connections via this, gas booking, so booking details will be entered here and delivery schedule, we can schedule based on the booking and then we have reports here. So in case you wish to buy this project, please contact us and now I will show the demo. If you are not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe by clicking the subscribe button. So here I open the project in uh, Visual Studio. So this is a Visual Studio 2019 Community Edition. So it's a free edition. So you can always download uh, this software. If you don't have this one, so you please download from the Microsoft website. So here is a welcome screen. So this is a welcome screen. I'll show you like how to redesign this. So, okay. So there is one picture here. So it should come at the center. So therefore we set it in the properties. So center screen, start position. So next, once this form goes, so the next one is a login form. So here is a login form. This will appear. So when you click OK button, it will go to login table uh, to check whether the user ID password correct or not. If they are correct, it will go to MDA parent. Otherwise, it will show the message box. So next is MDA parent. So here is MDA parent. So here is a navigation. So if say when you click gas booking, so we return the code. So it should go to gas booking form. So gas booking form. So here is a gas booking form. So booking number, the booking date, and customer number. So is the customer number. The name will come automatically. The price will come. So here, when you click new, so we automatically generate the next number. So here is the code to generate the next number. So this is a cylinder book tab. So we say select max book number plus one. So what are the book number already present? Plus one. So therefore, if it's thousand one thousand two is the last number, plus one is becomes one thousand three. Therefore, it generate the new number. That number will read and then we transfer to the this text box. Text box one, okay. So text box one dot text is equal to d1 of uh, zero dot two string. Means the new value will go to the text box one. Then once you enter the data and you click the save button, so here is the code to save the data. Right. So here we check whether you don't enter anything in the text box one. We we'll last to enter it. This is a validation. So then uh, we check the delivery date. Then we'll check. Okay, so last uh, delivery. So if it's not 30 days, then you say that you can't book the cylinder. So at least minimum 30 days should be there. Then everything is okay. Then we'll save the record. Fine. So let me run this first. Okay. So see that gas agency is a welcome screen. So it will be there for 5 seconds, then automatically we'll move to the next one. So this is the login form. So login, login, sorry, admin, admin. Right. So master entries, so qualifications, so this is for the customer. So you need to enter then the professional designations so that you can enter it here. Next is the area name. So what are the areas comes under this particular agency? Okay. So let's say I have to enter one more card as a Vijayanagar. So in that, what are the areas? So let's say Ampi Nagar. <clears throat> or what are the main roads? All we can write in the area. Correction type. So one is a domestic type. <clears throat> you can also make a non-domestic. Click new button, then non-domestic. What is the price for it? That you can write here. Or based on the cylinder size also, we can write the corrections here. Next is the customer detail entry. Here you need to enter the customers. So the new customers comes, then you need to enter all the customer details. So area name, so I want to modify this, I can able to modify this. Next one is uh, new connections, you can give the new connection here, nothing but customer, new connection. Next is the gas booking, 
So your customer want to book the gas. So number will come automatically. So what is the customer number? So let's say customer number is 1001. So his name will come. The price will come automatically. Then you can say, so we need to deliver to this customer. So you go to delivery schedule. So you can, there is a one customer book the cylinder. Now, what is the delivery date? So we can write the delivery date here. So delivery date is 27. So it's on 27th, we're going to deliver the cylinder. Now based on this, so for delivery printout will be taken, given to the delivery by, it delivered it in on the 27th. Now here is the customer list, to all the customers, that list come here. So is there any connections, so that pending connection, that list will come here. Gas cylinder delivery list. So here it shows the delivery because 27th it not yet been delivered. That is not coming here. On this particular day, nothing is delivered. There is nothing. But if it's delivered, that details will come over here. So these are the things which is covered in this particular project. So thank you for watching.